Hey everybody and welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and today we're going to be doing another flight video. And I think we're going to be talking about power loops. Because that's something I've been practicing lately. And let me get kind of just get more, a little bit warmed up on this pack here. We're flying the Budget Basher 5 inch FPV quadcopter here. And we have the uh, Diatone Mamba F405 stack that we're using. Alright, so let's talk about power loops. So, you've probably seen people do power loops, professional FPV pilots, or just in FPV videos online. And uh, But if, in case you're not familiar, we're basically just doing a loop, and the goal is to complete the loop at the same point that we started, and to do like a, generally like a circle. So it's not just like a flip, which is like that. That's just a flip. It's a backflip. Um, the power loop is like we're, it's like a backflip, but we're also moving the quad through the air. Now, that was not very good. So let's talk about that. So one thing I've noticed in power looping is that I have a tendency to pull back on the stick too much. To um, so that I end up completing my quad completes the flip before before it gets to the right point in the actual loop. So what we kind of want to do is like bring in the power, pull back, and then cut the power, and then continue pulling back. That was actually halfway decent. I like I said, I'm I am still learning how to do this. Um, and the other thing, the other big thing, is bringing the power back in. I guess that's what you know. That's why it's called a power loop. You can't have a a loop without the power. That'd be dumb. So, power, power goes out, bringing the power back in to complete a smooth loop. And you can see kind of some prop wash there, which is not ideal um, because that means that I'm kind of falling straight down. That was better, but it's it's kind of I was kind of scary, and um, just so you know, this is definitely a more advanced technique. If you're just learning to fly, don't worry about trying to power loop. This is just kind of a, I guess you could say it's a trick, uh, or whatever. So, power, bringing the power back. And also, I just want to point out that doing it in a backyard like this, where you have big trees above you, is a terrible way to learn how to do it. You should definitely do it in a much more open area because you really got to get used to how much throttle to give it and how high that's going to take you. So, but I, I have, I've gotten a decent idea, but sometimes I, I just get too much. I mean, sometimes I, I hit the ceiling, so to speak. So, um, yeah, so I think the two big things uh, that I've noticed for me is not pulling back too hard on the stick because then I, whoa, then I do like a flip and then I'm, but I'm still going, you know, backwards. And then the other big thing is to bring in the power like that. So I, I ended the loop closer to the ground than I wanted to, but then again, I did start it closer to the ground anyway. So... So, um, which I guess is good, but it can be kind of scary, and especially the part where you're going like backwards, because when you when you pitch up, so like um, the way that the camera is, you know, with the camera tilt, if you are level, you're actually looking up, like the center of the screen, and I actually have this little horizon overlay, and so uh, so when you begin the loop you're like looking way up and it feels like really weird but you're actually not pitching too far back there we go see I just I think I just have a bad habit of wanting to do like a little quick flip you know which is some people's stop you know style where they're you know they do well that's that's not even that quick compared to some other people but you know they just do like their quick you know, little flips and ooh, backflip. Now that I think about it like that, it looks really slow, which is how I like it. But anyway, too fast for what we're trying to do here. We're trying to just get a nice, smooth, 
come off the power. Whoa. Okay, that wasn't very clean. Because I, I want to give it power as I'm going backwards. But at, basically, like, by the time my quad is pointed down, I do not want to give it power as it's pointed down because then I'm just going to be going towards the ground faster. So you have to wait in your loop until you're pointed slightly back up. That was actually decent. So you're until you're pointed um until your propellers are generating thrust um so that you're not going straight down. So but for example, so like if I'm tilted forward, I'm I'm well I'm gonna fall like that, but but if I'm pointed forward, you know, like that, I'm actually my propellers are not uh, pointed towards the ground. You know what I mean? So like, so if I'm if I'm up here, pointed towards the ground, and I give it throttle, I don't I don't go straight towards the ground. I go forward. Now, by the way, we're on a little bit of a hill here, which is also probably not really ideal for power looping because you have to take into account the. Uh, the change in uh, elevation but anyway uh, I think you get the idea and yeah so maybe so maybe hopefully those are some things that you can see like that I shouldn't have done that but hopefully those are some things that you can think about when you are practicing your power loops let's just do that that was crazy and then look now I'm going backwards that's bad all right my battery is really low because it's kind of cold out here anyway thanks for joining me I had fun learning how to power loop, and uh, maybe this helped you. If you have any questions or comments about that, let me know. And uh, until next time, uh, get out there and go fly something.